So Reverend, we have spoken to the youth in here. Some say love, some say cash. And I believe you heard some of them. Yeah. But we want your wisdom-filled take on what cash has got to do with love. Um, thank you very much. So, interestingly, um, Comfort and I have been talking about this for the past three days. And he says some of the perspectives that we share, they are relevant to our generation and not to today. Well, let me say that if somebody gave you money but dishonored you, disrespected you and spoke to you anyhow, would you like it? Would you like it? If somebody expressed affection but was so irresponsible and will not take care of your children and yourself and themselves, would you like it? So the conversation is not abstract. The conversation about love and cash or love versus cash or love or cash is real. So to put this in perspective, when I met Comfort, I was broke. Very, very broke. So did she follow me because of love? I think so. Or so she told me and I believe her. However, one day when she was being interviewed, she said I was broke, but looking into my eyes, she saw cash. It was virtual cash, virtual, virtual cash. The cash was not yet in my pocket, but the attitude, the posture, the work ethic, the look in the eyes and the seriousness convinced her that if I don't have cash today, I'll have cash tomorrow. And that was prophetic. So I will say that beginning the journey for most young people, there will not be much cash to speak about. And if you weren't following the cash too, it can really break your heart because I've heard horror stories of people who had resources but great disrespect and great dishonor. So I will say that what we call love itself is sometimes mystified. When I was in school, there was a band called Foreigner. Um, I, I'm, quite, I'm quite old. So I went to Form 1 in 79. There was a band called Foreigner. They released a song that was a global hit. And the song, um, I used to sing, but I've lost my voice. But the song says, I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. I want to feel what love is. You, you know that song? Yeah, that one. On the concept that love is something you can feel so there was a debate in school about then what is love so it was a competition maximus and it went round and jeremiah and enam it went round and round and round and guess who won in our school the definition that won the description of love is love is the feeling that you feel when you feel a feeling you've never felt before <laughs> Wow! Chale was too powerful. Did, did you hear that? Love is the feeling that you feel when you feel a feeling you've never felt before. A round of applause. A round of applause. So, so that, was, that, was, that was the perceived definition of love. But Mina's scripture from 1 Corinthians 13, it says love is patient and love is kind love is not jealous love is not boastful love is not arrogant love is not rude love does not insist on its own exchange compromise does not insist on its own then it says love bears all things believes all things hopes all things and it says now abided faith 
Faith. That's a name. Faith. Hope. Who's called hope? Anybody call hope? In Ghanaian language or whose name means hope? Faith, hope. And who's called love? Charity. Yeah, that's the closest. Faith, hope, and love. These three. But the greatest is love. So the love that you are talking about is not just the emotional quickening. It's that patience, that kindness, that not being jealous of your partner, not being boastful, not being arrogant, not being rude. When that is there, the patience would help you work together and get money together. Let me end by saying that when love is there, the money equation is better than when love is not there. And I will explain. When we got married at first, I was trying to lead in the building of our business. She was a professional. So our money was the money she was earning because starting a business, there was no capital. So she earns money and it's our money. That's our chop money. Then the lines swapped. She also was schooling and I was earning. And at both times, it was our money. We all had access to it and we all shared it together. But because she respected me when she was earning income and we're using it equally when i was also earning income and we're using it i also respected her it was never yours and never mine and we've grown like that so this year was our 30th year in marriage and we still say we are learning one day we will know but we are still learning so we may not have the answer to whether it is love or cash, but one thing we can say is that love is a fantastic foundation. And when you build on love, cash will find its position and God will bless you with plenty cash.